what's it called? Neurologist. But anyway, I'm going blonde. So. You got this. Boo boo. Boo thing. <laughs> Hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to the doctor the um what's it called neurologist Neuro it, that sounds weird that sounds wrong but anyway i'm going blonde so probably more mris and stuff in the future but i figured i would take you guys along with a doctor visit day in my life top shindig but yeah waiting for my mom she had to go in and run an errand and then we will be headed to the doctor, so updates to come. Also, I should probably clarify what I mean by going blonde. So, um, the first time I went completely blonde was when I was 15. My friend Timber was spending the night and I had woke up. It was like four o'clock in the morning and I was freaking out. She, I, it woke her up because I was like telling her to go get my mom, but it was crazy. But, and then, um, what was I saying? And then a couple months ago, I started, I went completely blonde again for, it was just a few minutes. And then since then, it's been more like blurry, like it was like your vision and then it had like black around it and like black spots. It was, it's hard to explain unless like you experience it, but it usually happens with migraines, which I've had since I was six. So we're gonna just, you know, figure that stuff out and hopefully everything is okay. But, and it is also a symptom of Paz's blurred vision, but for me to go completely blonde, kind of weird. But my mom did go completely blonde when she was my age too. And Paz runs in the family and we all just have like the same symptoms. So ever since I got diagnosed, my family has realized, oh, hey, I do that too. And I never knew that it was a thing. But yeah, anyway, oh, there's the Madre. We'll get her to say hi. Hi, Madre, say hi to my vlog. Hello. <laughs> Do you have anything to say about me going blonde? It's not good. <laughs> I kind of was figuring you was going to go, I did it first. Because you did. I did. See, I got good genes, don't I? Alright, would you like to say anything else in the vlog? Can I show them this? 
She yeah. got some shots. Yeah, I got some shots. We're gonna try that for the migraine situation. So that's what we were just talking about is if you have POTS, then you know how it is with doctor visits and no one listens. They all make, think you're making it up, but the doctor that I go to, that, cause I stopped seeing the other ones, but this doctor is the only one that does any research and actually cares and tries to find something that helps. Because with me taking medicine, it always makes me feel worse and it gives me crazy side effects. But anyway, so anyway, so he's trying to find medicine that will actually help without the side effects. Okay. What was he saying? He, he will call you on his vacation? Oh, I work at the hospital. Even if he is on vacation or whatever, he will call me and I have mm -hmm. his number to call him to see what we need to do. And he does all kinds of research. Yeah. And that's the only doctor that will do any research on the disease. Nobody else even cares. But yeah. It's also hard finding a doctor where we live at because we live in the boonies. <laughs> we do. <laughs> I'm not going to say where, but we live in the boonies, people. It's hard finding a doctor that will help and that even cares to help. But yeah. All right. We're going to go into Marshall's. I need some tea. What color? Yeah. Oh, here's the desk. Ooh. No, here's the other one. No, it, I was thinking it had drawers. If it had drawers in it. But I'm sure we can make some. Yeah. I feel like this entire vlog is just the phone set up right here. But would it be a vlog of me? Without me having to go to the car because I almost passed out. <laughs> my mom is still inside Marshall's paying for my tea. And I had to, you know, skirt, skirt. Also, look how big this water jug is. 64 ounces. Perfection. But, and then we're going to go pick up my niece. And this might be all of the vlogging today. So that's exciting. Also, the shots that I got... Um, oh, we have to go pick up medicine, but the shots that we got is, um, I do them once a month, and it's supposed to help with like migraines and stuff. I'm down to try everything once, but, um, I don't know, medicine has just never really worked well with me, so I end up, like, trying it, giving it a good try, and then, um, like, out of commission for several months because that's how bad medicine does with me, so that's why I usually don't do medicine. But, if something helps, then I'll try it. But anyway, and if something doesn't have all those side effects and stuff, I'm down to try. I just, so updates to come on how that will be. So we are at Wendy's because I'm having a sugar crash. So I need some food ASAP. We're gonna get some cheeky nuggies. And it's gonna be a good time. We typically do not eat out no, we like to eat everything like from the garden, natural. We um, process our own meat, like we mostly eat beer and stuff. But, you know, when you have a sugar crash, you gotta stop at Wendy's. That works. Well, the lot is so bad. But I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Mom, do you wanna say goodbye? Bye. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. This medicine is making me feel like I'm drugged to the shots. This is why I don't do medicine. I feel like it'll be weird. I can't explain it. I can't raise my head up. I can barely feel my hands. I don't feel too good. But like I was feeling perfectly fine this morning. I felt normal. And then two shots later, I'm in the bed. I can barely feel my arms. I have a migraine. The shot's supposed to help with migraine. It's not. Um, 
I don't even feel human. I feel rough. And for pots, when I stand up, my, my blood pressure bottoms. I'm laying down and it bottomed. That's not good. I can't really talk. It's maybe like, I don't know, two minutes after last clip, my chest is hurting. Um, my face, no. They called the doctor. He said take Bendrill, chug water to combat reaction. Um, this happened every time I take medicine. I don't take medicine. <sighs> but it was worth a try. Sleep, Bendril make me sleepy. I need to pee. Mom has to get my wheelchair. What time is it? Well, still it's six thirty now. I went to sleep around. What time did I go to sleep? 3.30 and we had to get me back up because my blood pressure brought them back out again and I'm still chilling in the wheelchair hey guys so it's actually the next day I'm being kind of quiet because um, my niece and my mom are asleep but I just kind of wanted to give an update of what was going on yesterday so um we topped everything down, so I'm just going to read it because we had to top it up in case I had to go rush to the hospital. But the shots were in the guillotine, whatever, how you say it. Um, a, few after, a few hours after having the first two shots, I passed out. I feel like bugs were crawling on me, mild chest pain and stomach pain, major migraine, can't raise arms or head, face and whole body is numb, blood pressure bottomed out while laying down, trouble talking, Felt like I was having um, slurred speech. Felt completely normal and was having a good day before all this happened. Um, my face was starting to swell like right before my mom called the doctor to see what to do. And my tongue as well and I was starting to have problems breathing. Um, the appointment was at 11 o'clock. The side effects started about 12.30 which was around the time when I was fixing to pass out in TJ Maxx. Um, they, the, the side effects progressively got worse. Took Benadryl at two within 30 minutes, it started to help. But kind of what was going on in the clips, we got home and I had laid down and it was like an out of body experience. I was so out of it, I felt so bad. And then for me, when I pass out, I have to be like standing and passing out for my blood pressure bottom like it was. And it was doing that while I was laying down. It was just a really, you know, scary situation to be in. And I said in part of the video that I don't really like to take medicine. This is why. This is what happens when I take medicine. And, um, but the only reason I tried the shots was because, um, the doctor, like we said, had done a lot of research. And it didn't have a lot of side effects and stuff, or wasn't supposed to. But, yeah, that's why I don't take medicine guys have any like advice on natural ways to help pots let a girl know i think that's all that i just i just wanted to give like an update but i'm still not feeling the greatest i've been almost passing out all day today and yesterday i literally had to use my wheelchair all day and i have never had to do that around my house like i mean yeah i've had to use my wheelchair plenty of times going to town and whatever but never as much as I had to around my house. It was scary, but I'm okay. Benadryl worked. Yeah. I really want to take a nap. I was just trying to finish this video up.
but anyway, I'm going to end this video off actually now. <laughs> so, I will see you guys in my next video, which is, should be my testimony video. If everything goes well and I get it ready, that should be my next video after this one. So, get excited about that one. I'm really excited about it. But, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you.